Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see Thevenin's theorem solved example. Now, to get this notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. This website or app is specially designed for electrical engineering students. So, visit this website link and install the app now. Question Obtain the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for the circuit shown in figure. Here for this circuit, we have to determine its Thevenin equivalent circuit. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Let's copy this circuit from here. Now let's paste it here. Now step number one is to find RTH. Now RTH is the Thevenin's resistance. So to find RTH, remove RL and turn off all independent sources. All independent sources. So let's remove RL. Now here we can see between this terminal A and B, this will be our RL. So, here we can draw like this. This will be load resistor RL. Now, it is already absent. So, we don't need to remove this. Then next, we have to turn off all independent sources. So, as we can see, there are two independent sources. This 30 volt voltage source and this 15 volt voltage source. Now, if we turn off these two sources, then now when we turn off a voltage source that time we have to replace it by short circuit so here let's replace these two by short circuit so this will be replaced by short circuit and this will be also replaced by short circuit because when we turn off voltage source that time we have to replace them by voltage uh, short circuit and when we turn off current source that time we have to replace it by open circuit now we can easily find the value of RTH. So this will be our RTH. So here we can write RTH is equal to. Now here this 3 ohm is in series. So it will be 3 plus. Now this 3 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel. So it will be 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6. If we solve this in calculator it will be 3 plus 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6. Now it is equal to 5. So 5 ohm is the value of RTH. RTH is equal to 5 ohm. So here we can write RTH is equal to 5 ohm. Now step number 2 is to calculate the value of VTH. So step number 2 to find VTH. Now again to find VTH, we have to remove RL and find VOC. Now this VOC is the open circuit voltage. So here the RL is already absent. Now here we have to find this VTH or VOC. Here this will be plus, this will be minus. Now this this voltage will be our VTH because this 3 ohm is open circuited. So here this will be our VTH. Now to find this VTH, what we will do? We will use KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now let's assume the direction of current is like this. Let's say this is current I. Now according to the direction of this current, this will be positive, this will be negative. This will be positive and this will be negative. Now let's apply KVL to this loop. Apply KVL to loop. Now this will be our VTH between this terminal. Let's say this is positive and this is negative. So across this will be our VTH. So let's apply KVL to the loop. Let's say we are starting from this point. So it will be minus 30, minus 30 volt, then plus 3, plus 3 into I. 
we have to take this i then plus 6 into i then plus 15 is equal to 0. Now here we can easily find the value of current i. So it will be minus 30. Now minus 30 plus 15 this will be simply minus 15 and this will be 3 plus 6 9. So plus 9i is equal to 0. So here we can write 9i is equal to 15. So therefore i is equal to 15 divided by 9. So therefore i is equal to now 15 divided by 9 is here we can write 5 by 3. 5 by 3 ampere. We will keep this value in this format to get the precise answer. Now here we have to find VTH. So VTH will be equal to VTH is equal to this voltage. The voltage across this 6 ohm and this 15. So this will be simply 6 into I 6 into I then plus 15. This will be our VTH. So 6 into I is Six multiplied with current value. The current value is five by three. So five by three. Then plus fifteen. So if we solve this, we get the value of VTH. So let's solve this in calculator. It will be six into five by three. Six into five by three plus fifteen. It is equal to twenty-five volt. Now we got the value of VTH which is the Thevenin's voltage. Now we found the value of VTH and RTH. Now we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now to draw Thevenin equivalent circuit we need VTH. So here this will be our VTH. This is VTH. This is positive terminal and this is negative terminal and this will be our RTH this is RTH and this will be our load resistor RL this is RL now VTH is equal to 25 so here we can write VTH is equal to 25 volt and RTH is equal to RTH is equal to 5 ohm so RTH is equal to 5 ohm now here the value of RL is not given here we can see the AB terminal are given so here there is no value for RL so let's put this terminal as terminal A and this terminal will be terminal B and this will be current IL now this is called as Thevenin Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So this is how we can solve this problem. If you want to get notes, download our electrical-engineering.app. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.